Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you 12 different hairstyles for gym slash workout hairstyles. I wear these all the time to the gym and I thought you would like some different ideas for workout hairstyles or just easier styles in general. So the first one, I'm going to split my hair in half and back, tie off one side, and I'm going to do a Dutch braid all the way down, keeping the braid tight to my scalp as I go. When I get to the bottom of my head, I'll tie it off with an elastic and then pull apart the braid and do the exact same thing on the other side. Here is style number one. This is my favorite tool for getting elastics out. I never try to save elastics. I always cut them out to avoid damaging my hair, so I'll leave the link for them below. I wear this neck style so much, probably more than any of the others, because it's just so fast and it turns out good every time. I'm twisting all of the hair away from my face along my hairline, and then when I get to the bottom, I continue twisting it the way that the twist is going and just wrap it around itself. I usually just need one or two roller pins to pin it in place. Roller pins hold tons of hair and if you just stick a little bit of hair into the roller pin and then kind of zigzag it through like this, it holds it and it's really secure. I like using scrunchies for this one. You can use any type of hair tie that you like though. I tease the hair slightly and just wrap it around the scrunchie so that you can't see it and just use two roller pins on either side and do the same on the other side. I'm using clear eyebrow gel to smooth up the bottom since I have so many baby hairs underneath. This one is basically the same as before, but with a hat. So instead of twisting the top, I'm just twisting the bottom and using two roller pins. And you could also wear it like this without a hat too. This is what it looks like without one. This is with my actual gym hat. I wear these styles throughout the entire day too though, so I'm wearing to the gym and then just the whole rest of the day as well. The next one is two fishtail braids. I really love this style. It can be worn with or without a hat. Style number six is Topsy Tails. You can also wear this one with or without a hat. Create a ponytail, flip it through, kind of pull it apart to get a little more volume, and then I'm just going to be doing three for my length of hair. Style number seven, I wear this one all the time, just as much as the other one I said before. So first I do a scrunchie. This really helps hold it in place. Then I wrap the hair around. This ideally works best when your hair is dirty or you have some texture like you curled your hair the day before. I just use two roller pins on each side. I'm telling you this holds my hair amazingly even though it doesn't look like it, but I'm showing you here. For me, this works like a dream. I love wearing my hair like this for high intensity workouts because it really does not go anywhere. This next one is bubble hairstyles. I do have separate tutorials for some of these styles, so I'll be sure to link them below on which ones I have that go more into depth. But for this, you're gonna create a ponytail on top, create a second, and then a third, and now you will have two bubbles that you can just kind of puff out to be a little bit bigger. And then on the bottom, I do a messy bun, however you like to do your messy buns. And that is it for this one. My husband told me I had to incorporate this style because he really likes it when I wear my hair like this and this one's so easy. Section your hair in two and just braid the bottom of the hair all the way down. And you can also wear this with a hat.
I do this style on my daughters a lot because it's so quick so I thought I would incorporate it here and it gets all of your hair out of your face too. I just do a couple small French braids at my part line. You could also do Dutch braids too. I take all of the hair to the side and do one big braid. I always like pulling apart my hair to give it a little more volume. I'm taking those same braids, I'm leaving them in, but I'm going to put all of my hair in a high messy bun. I like to pull apart the messy bun so it kind of starts falling out. I really like it big. And you can just leave it like this, but I always prefer to bobby pin my messy buns to my head, especially if I'm going to be running so it's not flopping around. This last style is meant to preserve the curls that you already have. If you're just trying to preserve your curls, I like doing it like this. This is obviously not meant for high intense workouts where you're like jumping because it will fall out, but it only takes a couple seconds to do. I like to wrap the hair loosely in a low bun, or you can do it in a high bun with a scrunchie because it doesn't squeeze too tight and leave a crease. And the third option is you can wrap it around and just do roller pins on both sides. So I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.